This is a Tommy Industrial IWT Series Hydraulic Iron Worker. And today, I'm gonna to go over the initial machine setup and installation. The first step is to locate and read the operator manual. Please read it in its entirety. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Next, move the machine to the desired location in your shop by lifting here on the lifting eye. If you have a model IWT 55, 67, or 101, you can also lift the machine from the bottom using a forklift. The next step is anchoring the machine to the floor. Tommy Industrial provides four wet set concrete anchors with every iron worker. You may also use wedge set anchors. Anchoring the machine to the floor ensures it will not move and deadens machine vibrations. Next, please remove the front panel of the cover here. Here you can clearly see the hydraulic reservoir. Please remove the top cover of the hydraulic reservoir by loosening up and removing the socket cap bolts. This will easily allow you to fill the tank with hydraulic oil. Reference the manual for viscosity and capacity. After complete, please reinstall the tank cover and front panel. The final step is to connect the machine to power. Please have a qualified electrician perform this task. For reference, open the control panel with the keys provided. Please install incoming power here and ground here. If your machine is three phase, start the machine briefly to check motor rotation. To access the electric motor, you will need to remove the back panel of the machine. Now for more information on this machine or any other metalworking machinery, give us a call or visit TommyIndustrial.com.